Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, and my channel name is Shy Town Girl. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see and you've gone through some of the videos, I would love for you to become a subscriber. All you need to do is hit that little box right there, and you'll be alerted every single time I put something on YouTube. If you want to have VIP alerts, then you need to hit that bell. That bell will tell you no matter what I put on YouTube, besides Dollar Tree hauls, you'll get to see everything. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well. Wow, TGIF already. It's Friday. Can you believe it? Um, out here, it is basically on the East Coast in my area. Cool, crisp, and chilly. So... I've put my butt here in front of the fireplace and I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you and I'm just gonna jump right into it because I do have quite a bit. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna start with, and this is always the perfect time of the year to pick these things up because you've got holidays, Christmas stockings, giveaways, grab bags, all kinds of things. I was pleased to find three different colors and what these are, they're called Snugadoo 2. They're super soft little socks. They're nice and fluffy, but they also have those little, can you see them right there? They have those little rubber like discs or little like rubber circles, so they grip on the floor so you're not sliding. So I found this pair that's done in this two-tone red, which I thought was perfect for holiday, for Christmas time. You know, a lot of times we're out, if we're wearing heels and we go somewhere else and you wanna just slip something else on so you don't ruin your nylons or your pantyhose, these are perfect. So I picked this one up in this red this one here is just kind of, the base color is black, but then there's gray and white, and then they've got the little black sticky dots. Now these say sizes nine to 11. I did try a pair of these on and they fit perfectly, and my shoe size is like seven and a half, eight, so they fit perfect for me. The next color, which I thought was really cool, these are like a dark blue, and then they have a lighter blue, which almost looks like it's purple in a star shape and then there's your gripper pads on the back so what I mean just awesome to keep around the house like I said stocking stuffers um, all kinds of things okay I did find some more socks now this was a repeat but I purchased a couple more because these are just too damn cute these are the crew socks which are the really long socks and these are the ones that are becoming extremely hard to find it's the gingerbread man and his little arm is broken here and you can see his face and it says oh snap <laughs> just love them so i did pick up two more pairs because i thought what a perfect gift or you know i've already got two pairs for myself just another little you know, didn't forget about you, a little something under the tree, a little something in the stocking for someone that, you know, um, things like that, mittens, gloves, hats are also things that I donate um, because I do that quite often through the year. If you've watched my channel, you know I get involved with those types of things um, and helping just as much as I can help. The next pair of socks I purchased, um, these are identical and I bought them for two reasons. One, because they're purple, two, because I love them and I just wanted to. These are women's size five to nine. These are also the long socks, but look, they're purple. Cherries and donuts and little ice cream cones. I could not pass them up. I saw them and it's so hard, I don't know why, Maybe it's just my area. It's so hard to find women's socks. I can find them for the kids and find them for the men, but it's very difficult to get your hands on women's socks anyways in my area. So I saw them, I grabbed them right away. Okay, this is something that was brand new. Actually, everything I have here is new. These are, I'm looking for my ruler. I know what you guys are saying. Some of you are going, oh no, that freaking ruler. But these measure... And I have a few of them here. These measure six, they're about six by six. Check it out. It's listed as a coin purse. I haven't seen anybody haul these yet. Maybe I'm new at it, maybe I'm not. That's okay, they were new in my area. These are coin purses. 
Now, they're fully black on the backside and they're very soft like a velvety material. They have this wonderful zipper that opens all the way up. I can stick my entire hand in there, so if that helps, it's quite nice. And if you've noticed, it has the sequins. So you can have silver or you can have purple. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. They had a few different designs. So I picked one up in the purple. Then they had this beautiful teal. And this one also goes to silver and then back to teal. Isn't that beautiful? What, another perfect stocking stuffer or giveaway. The next color was gold and then I believe it goes to silver as well. Let me just double check. Yep. And then there's the silver. So it goes from gold to silver. Each one is black on the back. The next color is this vibrant pink. So let me pull the purple back up so you can get, just get an idea. There's the purple, there's the pink. So quite a difference. This pink one here also goes to silver. Are these just adorable? Last but not least, this one was the only one on the rack. I'm just fixing the sequins. This one is multicolor. Even for something like New Year's, Christmas, the holidays, a lipstick, a cell phone. Oh my God, it's so cute. So this one, when you change the color, I believe it goes to silver. Yes, it goes back to silver. Just too cute. So there was one, two, three, four, five different designs I found. I want to say there was one more and I think it was kind of greenish color. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm not really a green fan, so to speak, but I thought those were super. I just adored them. Okay, moving on. I did find my last Dollar Tree haul. I had shown these trees and I said to myself, I have to go find some more because they are just so much more prettier than I thought they were going to be. I did find three more and I actually found them in the shapes that I that I liked. If you all remember, I said this was my favorite shape of them all because it reminded me of snow falling off the tree. So I ended up getting three more of that one. I'm going to show exactly what I'm talking about in case you didn't see my other video. These are called LED light up trees. Here is how big they are from top to bottom. They're about four inches. What you do is you pull the tab out at the bottom. They're battery operated. You switch it on and then look at the colors go. Let me just bring it in nice and close for you so you can see. So you get this really, you know, flashing pattern and then it's gonna change. Can you see that? And then you not only have lights on the back, but they're in the front. Let me see if I can bring it in just a little closer. It's purple and green and how perfect for just anywhere actually. I mean, I'll mix it in with my Christmas, little Christmas with my Halloween here, but it is adorable to go on a counter, on a desk for somebody. I just absolutely love them. I went back to the same store that I purchased the first one from. And to be honest with you, there was like, not even seven left and two were broken. So I pretty much grabbed what I could grab and I was so grateful that I did. Okay, also, this is a superb buy and I just wanna share it with all of you. I'm sure you probably all know this, but maybe not all Dollar Trees carry the same thing. I'm one of those people that when I put something together for someone, I probably go totally overboard with bows and ribbons and making sure the wrapping matches that's just me, that's just how I roll. But during holiday time, when we're making fudge and we're making cookies, it's wonderful if you want to put those items like on a paper plate or a sturdy styrofoam plate, that's perfect. For me, what I choose to do, and this is just my opinion, I like to put my treats in tins or boxes, put ribbons on them. So I'm cruising through the aisle and what do I find? This is a set of two. 
These boxes are six and a quarter by six and a quarter. They had several different designs, but this is the one that I like the most. This is what the front of the package looks like. So you get two boxes and this is what they look like. You guys know me. I took it upon myself to open a package. Now, this is what the box looks like when it's out of the packaging. Now, please keep in mind, I didn't tape it or anything, so what you're seeing is these inside flaps. So once you close the box down, what I love about this is you could see the treats that are in the box. Then you also get two stickers. These stickers, you would take one, because this is where the box opens from, and then you put that seal right there. And because this is themed in poinsettias, I would do some type of ribbon up in the corner. And what a beautiful presentation. So if you haven't used these boxes before, take a look in your store to get two of them for a dollar it really is a bargain and it's just a lovely way to present something to somebody okay moving on bolero 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 holy bolero i think my dollar tree blew up with a bolero box um they were just loading the end cap when I got there, and so I was just picking what I could. They had so many people in the store. I didn't want to get in anybody's way, so I grabbed what I could, but I know there's much more. So, starting with 30-count package of the Cranberry and Sweet Orange Facial Wipes. You get 30 to a package. Talk about another wonderful stocking stuffer. Oh my gosh, I think what I have here would fill up someone's stocking easily. So you get 30 to a package. Again, it's basically cranberry and sweet orange. Anybody that uses the Blurro products knows they're good products. So I did manage to grab two of those. I also found, which is a wonderful scent that I enjoy, coconut cream and vanilla. You also get 30 in a package here, and this is what your package looks like. This does have an expiration date. They all do of June of 2020. Basically what you do is you lift off this plastic top, you peel this up, take out your towels, pop that back up so it keeps it all nice and fresh. So I did grab two of those as well. Then they have the soaps unpacked, well some of them. These are the coconut vanilla cream. This is 13.5 fluid ounces. This is what your bottle looks like. This is a big bottle. It's not small. From top to bottom, it is seven and a half inches. That's a nice size bottle. So I did purchase two of the same because this happens to be one of my favorite smells. So I did purchase two. And here we go already. What an awesome gift. Next, they did have some bath bombs out. What I liked about this for a couple different reasons. First of all, another perfect stocking stuffer. Here we are, not even Halloween, and I'm going on about Christmas stuff. But you guys know that if you once it comes out, if you don't get it, it's gone. It's like it just goes so quickly. This is a three-pack of cranberry and sweet orange bath bombs. What's so cool about this is look at how cute that packaging is. Is that adorable or what? You could tie ribbon through here, put, you know, and there's a cute little stocking stuffer. These are all individually wrapped. So you get three bombs. They're all individually wrapped. So if you wanted to take this out of the package, you have three separate gifts there if that's what you choose to do. The net weight is 1.33 ounce times the three. So I did get one in the, bana in the banana. Banana, where did I get banana from? I must be hungry. This one is in the coconut cream and vanilla. And this one is in, I was going to say in the banana. This one is in the cranberry, let me fix it here, and sweet orange. So another just cutesy, cutesy. You could even build a basket to put all this stuff in. Okay, I'm running out of room, but I'm going to keep going. This is going to be a long one. Okay, next. I found, finally, I've been on the lookout for one of my dear friends, Linda, here in New York. I was looking out for a magnet for her that she couldn't find, and I haven't been able to find any of the magnets. So she sent me a message, and she says, I found it, I found it, and I'll be darned, I still haven't found it on my side, but I did find a couple new ones on my side. So, 
These are the wooden magnets that are, I believe, three by three. Yes, they're the, you know, they're hard ones. There's the back, which is all magnet. This one says, girl, boss. Trying to get that glare off for you. I thought that was super, super cute. I then found, no problema. <laughs> this is the same type of magnet, also three by three. These hold very well on refrigerators, anything metal. So this one I thought was adorable. And this was one of the ones that I was trying to find for Linda and she found it. And then there I walk into a store yesterday and there it is. Go figure. And last but not least, I thought this was so cute. This one says, fine apple. And it's a pineapple with sunglasses. It is so adorable. And of course, you guys know. So I thought that was so cool to find. Alrighty, now I did find a couple like Christmas themes. These are some new stickers. There is 27 in a package. These are kind of like foil type stickers, but I just think they're so, so cute. Let me get the glare off for you. There we go. Look at the little snowmen, gingerbread men, the reindeers. Oh, they're so adorable. And I love gingerbread people. They are the bomb. I love my gingerbread houses. So I grabbed me one of those. And then the next one I found, there's 29 pieces in this one. So this one had 27 pieces. This one's 29. And because I'm a snowman fanatic as well, what am I not a fanatic about? Here we go. Let me get the glare off for you. Oh my goodness. Let me try and get this better. Look at all the little snowmen and the penguins. Whoops. I thought this was so, so cute. I said, yep, I need some holiday ones for my planner. Yes, my planner. That's a whole nother story. Okay. I also found a four pack of glitter gel pens. You get two silver and two gold. Never seen them in a package like this before. Um, they're medium point. Uh, it is a Greenbrier product, but like I said, you got four in a package. Let me just open this up here. So yes, you get two gold, two silver, two gold, two silver. Let's see. I don't have anything. Here we go, we'll use the back of this tag. So let's check out what the gold looks like. Wow, that's a pretty fine point there. So let's see what gold looks like. Ooh, I'm not sure how well you, oh, you probably, can you guys see that right there? Somebody answer me. <laughs> so there's the gold and then it writes really nice. And let me do silver, it's very sparkly. Let me do silver and there's the silver. Wow, I may have to go back and get me some more of these. These are very nice. Um, so to get four of them in a package for the dollar, I thought that was a good buy. Alrighty, I am going to finish this video with, I can't even believe I bought this, but I guess I bought it because it's the kid in me. This is called <laughs> Poo Doo. Slimy and sticky, um, squishy goo poo. It is, um, 1.86 ounces it says not gross at all stretch and twist it i don't know i, I <laughs> like i said it's the kid in me so here's what it looks like <clears throat> um it does say ages three and up i'm not gonna say it but you know i'm gonna say it you know your children better than anybody else so you choose as the parent what they can have and what they can't so we're opening this up together Oh my God, I hope it doesn't smell or something because that's going to freak me out. Okay, it looks like there's some plastic. Oh, okay, so the top twists off. So there's this. Um, okay, it appears that there's some plastic I need to remove. So let me do that. Please, if I pass out and fall over, if I don't come back in 24 hours, please send someone looking for me. Okay, so here's what the container looks like here's the front of it so i'm going to take off the lid oh my god i hope it doesn't smell i don't want to smell poo okay um should i smell it 
Okay, it does not smell like poo. It doesn't smell like poo. Oh, I got it on my nose. Oh, okay. So when you touch it, it's really slimy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I think it's because it's the name of it. It's like, ah, oh, poo. God, I can't do this. <laughs> okay, I thought maybe I could... I think if it wasn't called poo, it wouldn't be so bad, but I, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stop for now because I have no idea where I'm going to go with this. And, and you guys know I, I don't edit and now I have it on my face. Okay, this, this went bad. <laughs> I'll be back later, everybody. Have a great afternoon. I got to go get this poo on my hands. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.